Recently, there have been reports that the Huawei Qinyun L540 laptop, which was recently released, is equipped with a 5 nanometers process Kirin 9006C chipset and is manufactured by a domestic chip foundry. This news quickly drew widespread attention from the international community. According to the reports, Huawei has launched the Qinyun L420 laptop, which is equipped with a chipset based on the 5 nanometers process technology, the Kirin 9006C chipset. We have never seen this chipset before, as the 5 nanometers process has only been used on the Kirin 9000 and Kirin 9000E chipsets. Therefore, industry insiders speculate that this is a new 5 nanometers Kirin chipset released by Huawei. However, it is well known that the only companies currently capable of manufacturing 5 nanometers chips are Samsung and TSMC and there have been no reports of collaboration between these companies and Huawei. So where does this chip come from? After examining the details of the Kirin 9006C chipset, the main parameters such as 5 nanometers process, octa-core, and a maximum CPU frequency of 3.13 GHz are not significantly different from the Kirin 9000 and Kirin 9000E. Therefore, in the absence of Samsung and TSMC as foundries, we can speculate that this new 5 nanometers chipset is closely related to the Kirin 9000 series. It could be an enhanced version or a downgraded version in terms of performance, it is true. In the Kirin chipset aspect, Huawei has chosen a path of weakening or enhancing the remaining Kirin chip inventory to continue the legacy of the Kirin chipset. Although Huawei's choice may be somewhat helpless, I would like to point out that this is not a long-term solution because the inventory of chips will eventually be depleted. Moreover, this renaming operation can easily cause misunderstanding. Those who are not familiar with the parameters may believe that Huawei still has new 5 nanometers Kirin chips even if they cannot be freely shipped, leading to a chasing after Huawei. We can see many discussions about circumventing restrictions and the like recently, Derek Yu, president of Huawei's Consumer Business Group, mentioned in an interview that Qualcomm, Microsoft, Intel, and others are all customizing processors for Huawei. This means that, under certain circumstances, these companies have opened special channels for Huawei and are developing chips specifically for them that do not support 5G. This is another possibility, while temporarily solving the chip shortage problem. This also sends a signal that the Huawei Kirin chipset issue is still a challenge. The release of a new 5 nanometers Kirin chipset does not necessarily bring great hope. With the exposure of this new chipset, many people have overlooked the fundamental situation, which is not a good thing, however, there have been continuous good news about the development of China's chip industry chain in recent times. For example, Nanjing Dianyuan has solved the problem of photoresist, and there have been breakthroughs in photolithography technology from domestic universities and research institutes such as the Chinese Academy of Sciences and Harbin Institute of Technology. China's domestic chip industry is rapidly catching up and developing. Not only has Huawei achieved a series of breakthroughs, but other domestic chip manufacturers have also achieved remarkable results. For example, SMIC and Huahong Semiconductor, chip foundry companies, have become among the top 10 global chip foundry companies. Enterprises such as North China Huachuang, CMOS Tech, and Shanghai Microelectronics have also performed very well in the semiconductor equipment field with many products reaching world-class levels. Recently, Lungsen Technology, a domestic chip design company, released a processor chip called Lungsen 3A6000, which has excellent performance and is comparable to Intel Core 10th generation. Most importantly, the Lungsen 3A6000 chip is a domestically developed chip, including the chip architecture using the independently developed Lungsen architecture, 
with the wide attention drawn to the Longsun 3A6000 and Kirin 9000's chips in China, many people have become curious about which chip is more outstanding. From the current news, although the two chips are in different fields, the IPC of Longsun 3A6000 reaches 17 plus slash G, while the IPC of Kirin 9000's reaches 13 plus slash G. The performance of the Lungsan 3A6000 is slightly better in this aspect. Previously, there were market reports that SMIC was collaborating with domestic manufacturers to achieve 28 nanometers non-American full process verification. This basically means that in mature processes, domestic chip manufacturers can meet the demands of the Chinese market and minimize dependence on US technology. This is undoubtedly one of the good news for the development of Chinese chips. However, unexpectedly, the U.S. Department of Commerce suddenly announced an important decision. U.S. Commerce Secretary Raymond stated at the California Defense Forum that more funding is needed to counter China's advancement in the cutting-edge semiconductor field. For this purpose, the relevant departments have prepared a budget of $200 million essentially means that the United States has not ended its revision of chip rules and the restriction on advanced chip shipments. In order to prevent the development of Chinese chips, the United States is expected to continue limiting the shipment of advanced chips. Some foreign media have stated that the United States has no choice but to respond to China's semiconductor development by throwing money at it, however, Many professionals in the U.S. semiconductor industry have expressed that although technology blockade may be profitable in the short term, it will only lead to counterproductive results in the long run. From the current situation, it is not difficult to see that the U.S. restrictions on chip shipments have accelerated China's pace of developing domestic chips. After all, China's demand in the chip field has always been high, and the market demand is there. If sufficient chips cannot be obtained through imports, Chinese chip manufacturers will naturally choose to meet the demand through independent research and development. After all, no company can easily give up the Chinese market, and the huge market will undoubtedly drive technological development, whether it's the Kirin 9000s, Kirin 9006C, or the recently released Lungsan 3A6000 by Lungsan Technology. They are essentially the results of domestic substitution due to the restrictions on chip shipments imposed by the United States and the unmet demand in the Chinese market. It can be anticipated that if the United States continues to restrict chip shipments, the development of Chinese chips will inevitably accelerate further. However, it is worth noting that the chip industry involves many aspects and requires a significant amount of equipment and software-slash-hardware support. China's chip industry still faces challenges in achieving complete independent research, design, production, and testing in a single chip, making it difficult to achieve breakthroughs across the entire process. For example, although Huawei's Kirin chips are independently designed, they are most likely outsourced for production by domestic chip foundries, and Huawei still uses the ARM architecture in response to Raymond's recent remarks regarding China. The Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs responded through spokesperson Wang Wenbin, stating that President Biden has expressed that the United States has no intention of obstructing China's economic development or preventing China's technological progress. However, the conflicting remarks from certain U.S. officials are difficult to be trusted by China and the international community, and they also expose some deep-rooted Cold War thinking and hegemonic mentality among certain people in the United States. In fact, Chinese people are well aware of whether or not the United States is a friend, and it is not something that anyone really cares about. As long as business can be carried out, especially given the fact that China and the United States are the world's top two economies. What China hopes for now is that the United States, under the pretext of national security, will not deliberately suppress China in certain economic and technological fields, so that the two sides do not become enemies. 
for China to achieve complete independence and autonomy in research, design, production, and testing, as well as achieve domestic substitution in various areas such as equipment, raw materials, and manufacturing, further efforts and development are still needed. The People's Daily pointed out a long time ago that Chinese companies should give up any illusions about the United States and the West and only by strengthening independent technological research and mastering core technologies can China avoid being restricted.